I picture uh, some of the songs that I have are partial songs. Some of them are just idea snippets, and some of them I, are, are full blown songs. But as far as do, are you saying that I just need to believe them into being? Because yes. I yes. So it's, so even though I'm not sort of actually even though I'm working on the music in my head and sort of plunking it out. You on see, a guitar, because the, what you're doing, you're blocking it by saying I've got these songs and I can hear them, but I don't have the means to get them out where others can hear them. Right. Esther had an experience like this early on in her relationship with us as we were encouraging her to notice how many things were evolving in her experience and she and Jerry love music they love many different kinds of music and so one night she was questioning the subject of music as she was going to bed and she began to hear a symphony is not the best word for it but it was a combination of many different musicians making this wonderful music in her mind's eye she could hear it and she it startled her it was so good and because she does not write music she can read music she plays the piano she could because she could not figure out how to translate what she was hearing into the physical equivalent and she said to Jerry it startled her she 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 wanted to talk about it almost as soon as it happened I wish that I could put some piece of recording equipment into my ear that could record this out could record what a part of me has synthesized so and what we want to say to you about that is that once your life is causing you to play it in your mind that means it's complete in vibrational escrow but then so many things are complete in vibrational escrow, aren't they? Like multi-million dollar fortunes, fantastic relationships. In other words, all of the things that you want are complete in vibrational escrow. So what do I do now to translate what's in vibrational escrow into the physical word equivalent? How do I get it out of there? And we say... You dream it, you reach for words that feel better, you begin saying words instead of, I, can't, I don't have the band, you say, I'm on my way to the band. Instead of saying, the band that I have is not really satisfying me, you say, the band that I have has, is certainly uh, the, a wonderful launching pad for so much more. In other words, you just more carefully choose the direction of your words, tending to your focus, making sure word by word and thought by thought and feeling by feeling that you have turned in the direction of what's in your vibrational escrow and then what happens is the universe who understands that music and knows that music and has heard that music and who knows every musician on the planet and knows where they are in physical proximity to you gives you inspiration that puts you on the path of rendezvousing and sometimes it isn't until you come together in a physical sense that together you let the music out but once you've heard it in the way you're hearing it in your mind there is a way to it you just have to feel your way to it and you can't doubt your way to it you have to believe your way to it you can't be unhappy about your way to it you have to be joyful about your way to it in other words you have to positive aspect the life out of it you have to you have to just keep saying and focusing on everything about what you are doing that's working until that is the dominant activation within you if you were someone and you didn't have enough money and you wanted more money, our encouragement to you would be to acknowledge every wonderful nickel that moves through your experience. Every single thing that you have that's abundance in any way, shape, or form, we would encourage you to amplify it. When you put something on, we would encourage you to amplify in your own mind the value of it and the pride that you feel in having achieved it. In other words, it's the same thing. You just have to emphasize what's working that's along the lines of what you want to work better. And the the more you talk about what's working, the better it works. The more you talk about what's not working, the more you hold yourself apart from what works. And not actually have to do any sort of action at the moment? The action will be 
inspired, it will feel so attractive, the compulsion will be so powerful that wild horses couldn't keep you from it. In other words, you'll have this impulse to go somewhere and people will say, why are you going there? I thought we were going to do this. And you say, oh no, I don't know why, but I'm going here. And then you'll meet someone and someone will say, why are you interested in that person? That person doesn't even wear the kind of clothes you're interested in seeing or blah, 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 whatever it is. that, that there. And you, wild horses could not keep you from establishing this friendship because the compulsion is so powerful. In other words, when you begin to turn toward the flow and you begin to allow the momentum of that current to begin to carry you, you have less uncomfortable choices. Haven't you ever met someone? When Esther met Jerry and they decided to come together, Everyone in Esther's life said, don't go there. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> and Esther said to each and every one of them, buzz off. <laughs> there was no question in Esther's mind. She did not spend one second wondering, am I making a mistake? He was everything. He was, he was everything. Everything that she had been launching into vibrational escrow all of her physical life and long before this physical life was standing right there and she could feel it and nothing was going to keep her from going in that direction. No matter who they were, no matter how convincing they tried to be, nothing was going to stop that. And when you know that, then you got to know that there's something really big out there that's calling you. In other words, look at what they have become together. Esther had no idea what they were together. She only knew she liked his pretty face. <laughs> Can this also be applied to... Uh... My singing voice is, pro is probably not the greatest in the world, but I'm interested in doing the singing on this. And can I sort of believe that into a reality? Or does it? Well, you can, but not with words like that. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to say is, what draws people to a song is soul. What draws people to the song is the music inside the song. And there are so many artists that probably would not win American Idol under those standards who re look how many people are really famous in their own right that wouldn't have made it through the first round of American Idol. <laughs> who gets to choose? Who is it that gets to decide your success? Only you. What someone from the outside says about it has nothing to do with it. And what's on the inside of it has everything to do with it. This vibrational relationship between your desire and where you stand, that's everything. Well, what I'm specifically referring to is that the, the melodies that I hear in my head, I can't physically sing them. Not yet. And maybe you don't need to. Maybe your job is to dream them. And maybe your job is to dream them so clearly that the universe delivers to you someone who can sing them. In other words, the possibilities are unlimited. We promise you that if the day Esther had met Jerry, if he had said to her, I'm going to take you to Boston and Terrytown and Washington and Asheville. I'm going to take you to all of these cities 60 of them every year. And I'm going to prop you up on a stage. <laughs> and you're going to go into sort of a trance. And dead people are going to <laughs> entertain through you. We are certain that Esther would have resisted that idea. <laughs> but knowing how she felt about Jerry, she would have gone anyway. In other words, the stronger current was there, even though the idea of it, she had some resistance too. And so what we're getting at is the stronger idea is there for you, and it will carry the day. And you just don't need to make every decision right now about everything that you're going to do. 
You just have to begin going with the flow and allow it to evolve in the way that it must evolve. In other words, you can't stand still and who you are must be. And the fact that you're hearing this magical music in your mind speaks so much about what you've been launching. And so don't fuss over where you are in readiness to actually produce it. Instead, revel in the fact that you can hear it. And as you focus upon the fact that you can hear it, instead of the fact that you can't play it or the fact that you can't sing it or the fact that you can't find a band to play it, if you'll focus upon the fact that you hear it and let that be the drum you beat, we promise you all of the other pieces will fall into place. Mm.